Elemental damage in GURPS often can be unintuitive if you come from another system. I have talked about this more extensively in another video, but in this one I would like to give some attention to cold damage. How you can do it in GURPS? After all, most RPG systems have cold damage and there are many fictional abilities that freeze victims, so it's a good topic to explore. GURPS has no cold damage type. What do you use then? First of all, I have to mention that cold and ice are very different things. While in other systems something like a hail of icy daggers might deal cold damage, in GURPS it is better represented as impaling, cutting or piercing damage. A ball of ice launched at the enemy would deal crushing damage, possibly with fragmentation. I would like to talk more about cold without any material component, a type of energy damage. Let's check our options. Attacks that sap heat from the victim deal fatigue damage with a freezing modifier. This means that recovery from this FP loss is only possible in a warm area. You should keep in mind that fatigue attacks do not ignore DR unless you make them do so. Fatigue attacks are very powerful, as even large monsters often have as many FP as a normal human. Attacks that deliver intense, focused cold are burning attacks with a no incendiary limitation. This makes them almost identical to fire attacks, and that's boring, right? You can spice things up with additional modifiers to make cold feel distinct. What you definitely should look at are side effect and symptoms. For example, you could apply side effect paralysis to a fatigue, burning or in physical cold attack if you wanted to have a chance to freeze the injured target. This is what some cinematic example abilities in GURPS powers do. Keep in mind that this is a very powerful effect, as even a single point of damage that goes past the DR will force a health roll that will last minimum one minute. That is deadly. If you'd like to tone it down, I suggest also adding reduced duration 160th. This will replace minute with seconds. I should once again mention that side effect works differently in the most recent printing of Girl's Basic set. You have to replace penetrating damage with injury. This might be important. Aside from paralysis, you could go with a dexterity penalty and or numb. I like that. If you do not like side effect, consider symptoms. This will add a little bit of bookkeeping, but give cold attack some extra flavor. As before, this enhancement is valid both for fatigue and burning cold attacks, and maybe even to ice attacks if you want that. The book suggests limiting symptoms to weak attacks that deal 1d damage or less. Some appropriate effects would be dexterity penalties, numb and brittle, or all of the above. For example, you could go with something like symptoms 1 third HP dexterity minus 2, symptoms 1 half HP another dexterity minus 2 and numb, and symptoms 2 third HP brittle for a total of plus 155% enhancements. This will represent the gradual loss of muscle control and shivering due to freezing. But that's not all. You could also introduce binding into the mix. Remember Sub-Zero? You could represent freezing with binding modified with engulfing and possibly suffocating, if you feel particularly cruel. GURPS Powers also introduces a zero-point feature for such abilities on page 138. You treat FP loss to failed attempts to break free as freezing. But the victim does not become helplessly entangled on a roll of 17 or 18. You should remember that uh, to work properly, binding needs to have ST no lower than half of the target's ST. For example, to freeze a strength 10 human, you would need to use binding 5 or higher. Even if you simply use binding 5, you still make the target lose a turn to break free, which is great for you. You can use binding independently or you can use the link enhancement to combine it with a damaging cold attack, be it fatigue, burning or something else. I suggest applying 3 or 4 levels of binding per die of damage. It seems that it should work fine. And I think that would make cold attacks much more interesting. However, 
I will probably go with side effect dexterity minus 2 and numb plus 90%. I think that's a good option. Do you have any other ideas or suggestions? Or maybe you treat cold damage differently in your games? Feel free to tell me in the comments. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.